The first time I met uh, Luca was uh, at 2015 Worlds when I was with Origin. We were playing against uh, Flash Wolves and we were in London. They came over to our hotel uh, at Hilton and they were in a room for fun, just hanging out and I met Perks there. We hung out a little bit and we talked and we had fun and I thought he was a cool guy, so. I spoke to him a bit there, to him and Mitty, because I knew them from solo queue, but it was like, they were on Origin and I was like on Millennium, so I was like kind of shy, you know, I was like a rookie. Yeah, they were like the, co the cool guys. I didn't think much about it. Like, yeah, this guy's gonna be a, one of my best friends in esports or one of my future colleagues or whatever. I didn't think about that that much. I just thought, huh, he's cool. So after Origin had a, a rough couple of months, uh, I joined G2 in the summer of 2016. It was pretty quick when we started that me and Perks and Mithy became good friends because even though Trick and Dan, our Korean players in the team were nice guys. It's just harder to bond, bond with Korean players, so naturally the three Western players on the team will always bond more together. Perks and I just have good or like matching personalities and we get along very well, so it was easy for us to become good friends quickly, I think. His humor was uh, really, really funny to me, so I could, I could relate to him a lot in the way. Yeah, I have many good memories from my time with, with G2 and with Luca and who cares a funny guy and he gets himself into some funny situations sometimes, but I'm not sure if all of them are appropriate for uh, for camera. When I started playing on team with him, I realized that he's like, and not only he plays a lot of solo stuff, but he's, he's like a really hard worker. So that's something I didn't know before I actually worked with him, right? I actually really genuinely felt happy that Perks and, and Carlos are doing well, because I had a good time in G2 and G2 helped me when my career was at a low point. I was really happy with my time in G2 and we accomplished so much in just one and a half year and it's nice to finally see Korea or China not winning everything, so that was a, a side bonus as well. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing with Perks in the future, but I don't really know how that's going to happen. But you never know what happens in esports, but I wouldn't be against playing with Perks, but I'm not sure who's playing support because it's not me. It was pretty sad when when Amit left. Yeah, I mean it was like I didn't really want him to leave back then, right? So, but I guess it's how life works in mysterious ways. I mean, them going to TSM was not really that hard of a choice. It was TSM at that time it was really popular, and they were also winning a lot in NA. I I, I understood their, their decision to leave, right? But when you play league professionally, then you want to like experience as much as you can, right? You don't even know how long your careers are. And they took a new journey.